Hello, culture vultures. I'm Miss Amy, and I'm here to take you on a bunch of field trips all around the community so we can explore all the different great cultural events that we've got. We're gonna check out art and music and dance and drama and everything else you can think of that has to do with culture. Today, we are exploring art, and we are here at the North Carolina Museum of Art in Raleigh. So here's your first question. What is art? Today at the museum, we're not going to be looking at drawings or paintings. We are going to be looking at sculptures. And not just any sculptures, but really, really big outdoor sculptures. There are all sorts of walking trails behind the museum with all sorts of cool sculptures made by different artists from North Carolina and all around the country. Now these sculptures don't always look normal. They might not look like anything specific that you can recognize, but they're still art because the artist has used their creativity and their imagination to come up with something that tells a story or expresses an emotion. So I'm going to take you to go check out a bunch of these neat sculptures and works of art here at the museum, and it's up to you to decide what do they mean. Let's go. Okay, we are at our first sculpture in the Museum of Art Sculpture Garden, and this piece is called No Fuss. It is very, very big. Check out all the different shapes that they used. I see some spirals, some circles, some triangles, some rectangles. Think about the name No Fuss. Why do you think the sculptor would name this that? Does it look like No Fuss? This is a work entitled Collapse. Do you see why it could be called Collapse? At first, it looks just like a big rock. But when you back out, It looks like a person. It looks kind of like the legs of a person who's lying down. You see the feet and the toes, and then up to the knees, and the rest of the legs. I think that's pretty cool. This piece is called Gyre, and it's made up of three very large rings. It's kind of hard to tell from here, but these rings are very, very big, and you can get a little bit of perspective from how tiny the people are standing next to them. And they go right next to this walkway. And when you get up close to them, you can see they're not perfectly smooth. They've got a lot of texture in the ring. Whoa! Here's a fun one. It's a sculpture made of steel, but it looks just like a speech bubble. <laughs> That's pretty fun. And guess what? You can sit in it too! <laughs> 
this piece is called wind sculpture. I wonder why it's called wind sculpture. Does it look sort of like the wind? Or how the wind makes you feel? This piece is called installation and it's made out of 183 ceramic columns. All of these columns are made from local clay that has been shaped and fired into these columns. And each column is a different height because it reflects the landscape that it sits on. So the higher the hill, the shorter the column. This piece is called Crossroads. And it's titled that because it's right at the crossroads of two trails, right in between the two. It's made out of lots of different things. It has bricks, ceramic, steel, all sorts of materials to make this pillar that points straight up. I am sitting on a bench. Now this might look like just an ordinary bench. And in some ways it is. It's got bars, you can sit on it. But this bench is also one of the art pieces on the walk. See the bars in this bench were resourced from the prison that used to sit right here on this land. It's a walking trail now, but a long time ago, it was a prison. And they took some of the metal bars from the prison and they reused it into this work of art. That's both neat to look at and also very functional because I'm kind of tired and I would like to sit down. This piece is called Crook. It's a digital print on vinyl. That means it was a drawing that was made on a computer and then they printed it out to make the sculpture. Aren't the flowers pretty? Whoa, look at these designs on the walking trail. It's asphalt, but someone's gone back over it with a darker shade of black and etched all of these lovely floral designs. Pretty neat. This piece is called Full Spindle. It's made out of bronze and it's got some really interesting shapes and curves to it. The artist says he likes sculpture because sculpture is a way of blending art with nature. It does look pretty nice sitting here amongst the meadows and the trees. What do you think? This piece is called Sculpt C and it's a pig, but it's also a slide. Whoa, fun. I like this one. I like its use of the red and white geometric patterns in its design and it's both fun to look at and fun to use. Cool. This piece is called the Three Elements and it's made out of steel brushed with aluminum. Why do you think the artist called it the Three Elements? What was he trying to say when he made this piece? This piece is called Knife Edge. It's made out of bronze and it's standing in front of a pool of water. Why do you think the artist called it Knife Edge? 
Does it look like any particular shape? Why do you think it's standing beside some water? That's cool. It looks like a tree, but instead of being made out of wood, it's made out of metal. What do you think? Do you think it looks like a tree? This piece is called a grown. It's made out of cedar, which is a kind of wood, and graphite, which is a kind of stone. It's inverse, which means the largest part is at the top and the smallest part is at the bottom. It is very tall. It's even taller than the museum itself. This is the Rodin Garden. It's right outside the museum. It's got a pool of water with lily pads and lots of neat statues. The statues are made of bronze, and they're hollow inside. <laughs> this piece is called Abstract Fish Number 4. Abstract means it looks different than you think it would. What do you think? Do you think it looks like a different looking fish? What makes it look like a fish? Is there an abstract fish numbers one, two, and three? This piece is called Lunar Bird. It's made out of bronze. Why do you think the artist chose to call it Lunar Bird? Does it look like a bird? If so, what parts of it look birdish? I don't know. I kind of think it looks more like a rabbit than a bird. But that's the beauty of art. Everybody can look at it and see something different. This statue is called Ulanu. It's a bright reddish orange color and it takes its form from a lot of different shapes interacting with it. What shapes do you see? I see circles and triangles. Thanks for coming with me to the museum. I had so much fun looking at all the different kinds of sculptures and walking around the park. I hope you enjoyed it too and maybe gained a new appreciation for art and sculpture that you didn't have before. Okay, that's it for this month. Be sure to tune back in next month where we will be examining a different kind of culture in our community. See you later.